Hi, I'm Dr. Berger, and welcome to Health in the Home. You know, in today's modern age, we're more likely to reach to the medicine cabinet for the relief of pain more so than any other time in history. So tonight, I'm going to show you a few home remedies that you can do without the use of possibly harmful narcotics, for example. Now, we've all heard of the old adage of putting a steak on a black eye. Well, that isn't as preposterous as it may sound because many of the juices found in the steak actually do reduce swelling and discoloration. Now, for a headache, I wouldn't use steak, but I would use chicken. And what you simply do is tie the chicken onto the head. Creating a comforting cocoon of relief throughout the entire skull area. Now, be sure to save those giblets because they're very good for canker sores. <laughs> now, throughout our daily stressful living, our feet often take the brunt of that stress. Stress that can manifest itself in the form of corns. Now, I'd look pretty silly with a chicken tied to my foot. <laughs> so, I wouldn't use chicken, but I would use corn. And what you do is you simply pour the corn right onto the corns and then work that corn right into the corns. I'm using the creamy style. I find that emollients help soften that dead tissue. Now, I know some of you are probably saying to yourselves, all right, Dr. Berger, those home remedies may be fine for everyday ailments, but I think I've got syphilis. What should I do? Well, don't worry, you can treat yourself. But just because I put corn on my corns, don't expect me to pull out a package of wieners to treat syphilis. <laughs> wieners just aren't enough. You need pork and beans. You see, the pork and the beans work together with an astringent property that's vital to the treatment of venereal disease. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. But I hope you'll turn in next week when I'm going to show you how you can do your own early home pregnancy test with a brisket. <laughs> Until then, I'm Dr. Berger wishing you good health and good night.